Hello everybody and welcome to our HBAR Suite tutorial. We're very excited to share our DApp preview with you. So, starting with the smart node section, which shows you we have a fully decentralized network running on testnet mode. As you can see, we have four different nodes up and running. If a problem arises with one of the nodes, the node status will change from online to offline. If a node switches to offline, we'll see an explanation of the error and the expected time it will take to recover. Returning to the main menu, you can see we have many more features displayed, which will also be available in the future. We will dive deeper into those features in other videos we will release over the coming weeks. For now, we're going to take a look at the HBAR Suite Launchpad and Exchange. So here we have our Launchpad. It's the same technology we've been using to run our own pre-sale tokens for Shibar and HSuite. Click the H here and you can use the QR code or select click to copy and connect the app in Hashpack. Now you can tick the box and press approve to pair your wallet with the HBAR Suite D app. As a showcase, I will now buy some Shiba. 12 HBAR of Shiba is 1.2 million Shiba. Once you have selected buy, Hashpack will ask you to approve the transaction. Our smart node will be notified of a new transaction request and the node will schedule a new transaction. The transaction will then be analyzed and validated by all the other nodes once the threshold consensus has been reached. The multi-sig will be processed and you will receive the tokens. From there, we can navigate over to the History tab and refresh to see we have received the tokens. It's important to note as well that we are fully decentralized. If you look at every transaction with the front-end app and the smart nodes, you will see that every single time it is a different smart node answering the requests. Now, last but by no means least, we will showcase our exchange where you'll be able to swap between tokens from one token to another. So, for example, if I want to swap 250 Shiba, I will more or less receive one H-Suite. You can see the fees are displayed below. If the value is below the cost of one H-Suite, it will be rounded to a fixed fee of one H-Suite. Otherwise, the fee is 0.03% of the transaction. For ease of use, you can also use the auto router. The auto router provides you with the quickest way to swap between one token and another from a starting token to a final token in a completely automated way. So for example, if I want to swap from Shibar to HSuite, again, we'll go for 250 Shibar to one HSuite. I click confirm and Hashpack will ask me to confirm the transaction. Hashpack shows one HSuite for 250 Shibar, so I'll click approve. Done. I quickly receive confirmation the transaction has been sent correctly. And again, our smart node will be notified of a new transaction request and the node will schedule a new transaction. The transaction will be analyzed and validated by all the other nodes once the threshold consensus has been reached. The multi-sig will be processed and I'll receive my HSuite tokens. I refresh in Hashpack and in just a few seconds, I can see in the transaction history I've received my one HSuite. I have exactly the amount of HSuite I should have. We also want to showcase how the liquidity works. Once you click on the liquidity tab, it will show all of your open positions. For each position, it will tell you what you have invested into that position. For now, I'm the only liquidity provider for HSuite and Shibar. It shows me how much HSuite I've put in and how much Shibar I've put in for a total value of 200 HBAR. When you click on the pool, it shows you that it's perfectly balanced between 50% of each token. This is the current amount and the correct pool value. As you can see, this is your withdrawable amount and your exit value. You can also see it's actually telling me that I'm in an impermanent loss condition because my entry value was 200 HBAR and my exit value is slightly under 200 HBAR. This is suggesting to me that I should wait until the value goes up before I exit. Generally speaking, this impermanent loss or profit is only based on the entry and exit value and doesn't take into consideration the fees that you'll be earning. So what may happen is you may be in an impermanent loss state, but you'll still be in profit due to the fees you have collected with the swap. As an HBAR Suite user, you'll be able to inject liquidity into any existing pool. If 
you want to swap between HSuite and USDC, for example, the system will tell you that the pool doesn't exist just yet, and you can create the pool. So if you create the pool, what happens is that all the smart nodes will synchronize to generate the pool for you. Then it will ask you to inject an amount of liquidity into the pool. So for example, I'm going to inject this amount of HSuite and this amount of USDC. I then press the Join Pool button, and Hashback will ask for permission and to approve the transaction. So it's actually very similar to the Launchpad. The main difference between the Launchpad and Swap is the Swap is going to mint an NFT for me with all the position details and the metadata of that NFT. When I click on the Position button, you can see I have a new position, which is HSuite USDC. But refreshing Hashpack, you can also see I have an NFT, which represents my new position. This is a really exciting feature. Every time you provide liquidity, stake an NFT or stake a fungible token, it will give you an NFT representing your position. This is revolutionary because this NFT can actually be traded or sold to other investors or exchanged between different wallets. We're binding a position, not to a wallet, but to an NFT, so the position is easily tradable. So there we have it. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Don't forget to like and share and follow HBAR Suite for updates on all the new DApp features we're working on.